Hey what's going on guys, GoMakeGainZ here, in this video I'd like to announce that from now on my didactic JavaScript Chinese chess engine Wukong CNC is available to play against at cnc.com. So I've been working with a uh, lead developer of this project, his name is Abdullah, I don't know anything else about him, but uh, we've been collaborating on integrating my engine Wukong CNC with the infrastructure of this entire cnc.com website and today finally I'm proud to uh, share uh, uh, one of the first results uh, that that is available. So if we just go to cnt.com right over in here and then go to games in progress even if you're not logged in you don't really need to log in to play versus computer here this new button has appeared and it's computer so you can play versus engine and before I start demonstration, just just really want to prove the fact that this is really my engine, guys. Can you believe it? Uh, so here, if we have a look at the sources, this is the source code. Uh, this is what, what, what the core file uh, with the source code of my engine. Just just to show you this on my GitHub, because you know, like it's really amazing to see like how your software, the software you've written, actually uh, is actually running uh, on. Uh, on a real world project basically this is so this is so fun so here is the source code just to compare a little bit you see like this is it okay so this is really my code can you believe it can you believe it right okay so uh, without further ado let's actually try to play with it well actually uh, my part of the job was actually to provide the API to make it possible for this GUI to uh, interact with my engine. I've also uh, uh, I've written a couple of proof of concept features. Well, in particular, uh, how to uh, parse FEN and generate FEN to interact uh, by FEN strings between the GUI and my engine. So I actually didn't really have the access, and I did install, and I still don't have an access to the website sources itself. And the front end is written in React. Uh, but again, like uh, I had um, a board representation, so kind of like two-dimensional array for this board, and I just was making, uh, I was just writing the proof of concept uh, uh, functions to actually, again, like just to parse and generate FEN, just to make it possible to convert the board position, the two-dimensional array into the FEN strain, back and forth in order to interact with the engine, and then the API that is available for the engine itself has been used by Abdullah, who is a team lead at cnc.com, the director of engineering basically, so uh, he has used that API to actually play with the engine, believe it or not. So if I just go to the docs, and here we have this uh, credits about specs arena, I'm sorry guys, I just don't even remember, probably it's within the integration, yeah, docs, API, yeah, here it is. So here is the API for my engine, and this is used in the real world website, believe it or not. It's really uh, still in a quite pretty early stage, so it doesn't really, uh, well, uh, it doesn't document all the possible features. But again, like as far as for now, we have only the very basic proof of concept uh, kind of interaction. We don't yet have the levels and things like that. So uh, I really hope that I'm uh, about to be contributing to this uh, even more because. Yeah, now it's just uh, the very, very early stage. Only the functions that are that are actually being involved in the interaction are been described here, like how to search for a best move, things like that. And yeah, uh, by the way, did I implement uh, the fixed time search? Yeah, probably I did, but uh, apparently didn't yet. Uh, apparently, I just didn't yet document that. I just probably send that, and and that's all. I'm not really sure. Sorry, guys. Just I, I'm just really tempted to see because uh, I wasn't uh, up with this project for quite a bit of time. Search depth. Yeah, probably search time is not yet. It is not even it is not even yet available here. But anyway, it doesn't doesn't really matter that much. So anyway, without further ado, I just I just really want to demonstrate how. Uh, well, most likely I would just get crushed by my by my own engine. But anyway, and again, like bear in mind the fact that it's not often uh, uh, it's not really too many uh, people to play with on this site yet because it's not really publicly released. It's just uh, still within the beta state. And actually, playing versus engine is a really nice new feature here. So 
without further ado let's actually go and see uh, how it plays well unfortunately yeah i can't yet say uh what kind of is this a fixed depth search or or what what kind of, kind of difficult difficulty level is involved because i have no idea how abdullah actually uh was doing that okay so it's a little bit of a blunder in a pawn but as far as this is this seems to be a theoretical variation shouldn't be that big issue so just sacrifice the pawn apparently okay okay not really that great but uh can i so he will now try to crash crash this one so just try to move that away uh, that away to avoid being captured okay and by the time i just develop my knight okay let's exchange the rooks oh yeah just blundered just blundered the bishop yeah new interface doesn't help me to play better <laughs> because yeah being being a new player it doesn't really make that much sense a big sense but i just really want to see how how the end of game is handled because i, I didn't yet see this i really wanted to share with you guys the, the, the very first experience of playing the entire game from beginning into the very end so i just tried to move pieces but i didn't finish a single game versus the engine versus my own engine believe it or not didn't didn't yet do that okay so let's try to attack the center here and just just put in a pressure on the central pawn okay so if i go here if say he takes i recapture back so this should be just fine if it takes with a knight i take with a knight knight takes and then cannon takes this should be fine so still material down but maybe not that awful really and now if this this cannon would be here it would be a checkmate so i really need to try to go for that sort of a scenario okay so then yeah we don't have take back here yet i believe but yeah so we're just going here and will i be able to checkmate oh no i just blundered oh my god oh how can i oh uh, can i take back no no take back oh what a crush yeah we really need to implement the take back yeah i have that in my own ui but abdullah didn't didn't yet do this yeah this is this is the very first uh uh, uh this is the very first uh release of this feature probably they didn't even yet announce this i believe only only the site wizards could, could could have seen this new feature apparently oh my god what have i done what a horrible i just yeah now i'm just i'm just worse okay still just okay just try to play the game until the very end and okay, see how it goes so can i can i take this Oh, just lost another cannon. So now I'm cannon down, right? And bishop down as well. It's not really that great. This is not really that great. What can I do about this? Nothing much, really. Oh, blunder the rook. What have I done? Well, okay, at the very least, let's try to see how, how he would have tried to checkmate me. Uh, I don't even know what what else can i move okay okay execution so i can't move this away because there would be a check invalid move whoa move validation cool this is so cool okay let's try to move further on okay okay and I can take yeah okay great but how is it gonna checkmate me yeah I don't really have that many options literally and I think this is it 
Yeah, I think this means that I lost because this is literally a stalemate, so I don't have any valid moves. Yeah, so I kind of lost this game. Well, okay, guys, uh, I, I, I'm really tempted to try not to blunder pieces, so let me just try to play. By the way, hold on a sec. Could I? Could I take back like this? History move, you cannot move while navigating history. Okay, good. I'm just wondering, will I have... Will I have any benefits if I sign in as as my user? This is really interesting. Uh, I just want to be playing like Komaki Kin. I'm really wondering, is the rating going to be affected? Yeah, let's try this. Anyway, let's try this. So, yeah, let's go for... Just, just want to try this one more time, and I'm really w wondering if, if the game is going to be reflected. Yeah, also, we don't even yet have a uh, flipboard feature here, I guess. Yeah, but anyway, so do we have it here? Doesn't seem to be. Well, okay, so this time I'll try to play solid. I can even be... I can even cheat using <laughs> another engine to play versus my own engine, but yeah, uh, I won't be doing that, obviously. Obviously, I won't be doing that. So now I can go here, and the pawn is protected by, uh, by this a uh, bishop, which is good. Okay, so now developing the cannon because when the rook goes, I can move a pawn and already uh, support already support my cannon, which is good. Okay, now this uh, this is gonna be within the trouble, so I need to develop the knight. And as far as rook goes, here I go here. Okay, so now if I don't blunder anything, this seems to be quite pretty nice development. So if I take, it just grabs my knight, which is not good. And so if I just try to put the knight away somewhere, mm. so if it takes, if I take, it just takes the knight. Okay. So if I go here, he takes, no, he just takes here, so currently here, yeah, I think this is the move. Oh man, what have I done? I just blundered, <laughs> oh no, oh my god, I really need a take back, I really need a take back, yeah, that, that would be really nice to have a take back. Uh, I definitely need to tell Abdullah to add the take back because otherwise it's total disaster, really. Okay. Yeah, no, no, nothing much to play. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. I just uh, I, I just try not to blunder next time. So let, let let's try one last time, and if I blunder, I just resign and drop it. Okay. So let's try again. So bear in mind the fact that at the moment engine place from the very first move okay no you know what I just want to let's start it again from scratch okay so yeah it doesn't really use an opening book which is possible but yeah we didn't yet work on that really okay yeah I really need to ask the guys in the in the chat what do they think about this chat is disabled here okay so probably yeah yeah no nobody can watch this game because it should be running entirely in the front end so yeah yeah, yeah, also my rating is not affected, which is good. Uh, okay, so developing the cannon. So this should be the same game for now. Yeah, this should be the same game, really. And I just try not to move the knight here to avoid blundering. Okay. And now, nope, hold on a sec. Oh, yeah, but if I go here, it just takes this one. Okay, so if I go here, if I go here, say, yeah, I can protect the knight like this. I think this this is on the cards as well, so if it takes, I can just recapture with the cannon. 
and yeah and still blundering still blundering this one yeah it's a little bit of an uh, of an unfortunate stuff obviously but yeah nothing to be done really well okay anyway anyway i really feel satisfied with how it plays yeah check uh wrong wrong advisor should have known this one well okay guys so yeah i just i just resigned this game because really the engine is at least stronger than me well i think that the rating is a little bit overrated because on the real deal it shouldn't be it shouldn't be more than 1900s uh, i didn't make those heavy tests on it but really i think that 1900s is something that, that it should be but anyway can you believe it can you believe it can you believe that my chinese chess engine will cool actually play in here at cnc.com in such a great site this is really awesome guys i don't know uh it, it feels even even better when i got paid for this job you know like <laughs> getting paid for this job wasn't really that pleasant uh as actually seeing how, how, how it eventually looks like and how it works and i really hope to continue our collaboration to add new features uh to the engine and then having this basis for the engine will be able to add uh hopefully uh puzzles which is another uh incredible feature to to have a look at like three thousand of puzzles so yeah this is gonna be extremely extremely uh, exciteful and interesting thing and yeah by the way i think that abdul has already yeah here is uh uh here is what the uh director of engineering actually wrote to me so is live and you're the first one to know this is so nice i'm the first one to know and some new message well, okay guys so i'm not really gonna be showing you my private messaging uh with the tech lead uh i just need to have uh, so to discuss probably potentially some interesting things so this is it from my side uh i'll give you the link in the description below this video so from now on you're able to play versus my chinese chess engine Wukun at cnc.com and this is really awesome so join the site uh it's free and uh new features are coming soon so not only playing versus uh engine but also versus real uh, real people which is really awesome is on the cards so this is it from my side thanks for watching until the next time and take care